a few years, uh, we have um, Mexico elections in 2021, um, Colombia in 2022, Argentina in 21 and 23, and now we have Mexico in 24. Um, so the interesting thing is that we, we have a verified database of political candidates. Sometimes there's, um, there's a lot of misinformation around the elections, and it's hard to know the right information about the candidate. Yeah, that's the one. It's purple. Yeah, do you know what, why is it purple, Frida? Uh, because we actually had a conversation with a graphical designer, and they said, if you want to be perceived as nonpartisan, uh, you have to use a color that's no, it's not used by political parties. Um, and we decided purple was the least used because every color is used by some political parties somewhere, but there are not many purple political parties. Uh, so that's, that's why. If, if you do a red side or a blue side or a green side, there are lots of parties with those colors. So gobernantes.info, verified data for combating disinformation in Latin America. That's the name of the project. You can search uh, here the whole database. We have, as I was saying, 2009 candidates for Mexico, 2024, 600 candidates for Argentina. And um, so there, there are interesting things, things you can do downloading this database. You can download it, it's free. We just ask for your email so we know who's using it. Uh, other than that, it's a free uh, data. And uh, we have been working with different allies in different countries. This is Argentina, this is Colombia, this is Mexico, uh, same the organizations. Um, we have a newsletter. And uh, the thing I like the most about, about this website is the map. Um, political uh, districts are very oddly shaped. Like there's a municipality that says, no, I don't want to be in this district. I want to be in that one. So y they are discontinuous. Um, they, there are some, each of these um, hexagons is a political district in Mexico. Um, they represent around 2,000, sorry, 200,000 to 400,000 um, people. So that's the criteria. They are, they are um, made to represent about around the same kind, uh, amount of, of people. Um, but the shapes are very, very um, different. So this is a way where you can search for your district and click it uh, very easily uh, because all of them are the same shape. And here, this one, Estado de México, District 18, Wixilucan, that's a city. There's 358,000 people there, 169,000 are men, 168,000 are women, and you can go see their candidates to representatives in this district. Uh, these people, this one is a replacement because one of those um, resigned and she entered late to the race. Uh, she's from the Partido Verde Ecologista de Mexico. And you can go to, to her Facebook page, her Twitter page, have her birth uh, date, her um, gender, um, and she was a replacement for this other candidate. And the source and the date of the update, which was yesterday. Actually, we did it in this room, <laughs> the update. Um, so, as you already heard, uh, this year we have like the most, uh, the biggest elections in Mexico. So, this is like um, a work that we do with volunteers. Um, and Martin and me. So uh, we have 
Well, the, the election inf uh, candidates' information in Mexico are in all places. Uh, so this is like an uh, effort to uh, give it in, or have it in a, a unique place, uh, um, standardized. Um, we are, uh, it's a working uh, progress. Um, so you can download in uh, CSV. Um, you have like, um, um, you could like um, search the, the names of the candidates, uh, the careers, um, I don't know, um, date of birth, you, you already see that. Um, so I don't know, um, it's like um, a big, big uh, effort to do it. Uh, so we will grant it if you see, um, um, I don't know, uh, <laughs> at all. I think I'm nervous. Um, I'm going to talk to you a bit about the data pipeline we have set up for this project. Um, the data is collected into Google Spreadsheets by volunteers. Um, Frida is the head of the volunteers. Uh, she gives them the methodology, she checks the data, and we have some validations that are done directly on the spreadsheets. We have 34 validations on the spreadsheets. Uh, it's really hard for a disorganized um, group of people to create quality data in a spreadsheet. <laughs> uh, so we have these validations, uh, name, uh, party, dates, um, white spaces, I don't know, lots of issues. Um, and then there's Python code, uh, which I inherited from another developer, um, Paul, which was previously the lead developer in this project before me. Um, and the code is split in two parts, the API and the bridge. So the bridge downloads the data, sends it to the API. Uh, but we are currently not using that API. So uh, what I did is I created something called Google Actions, eh, pardon, eh, GitHub Actions. Uh, so in the same GitHub, um, every time we do a commit, uh, it downloads the data, uploads it to the API, exports it to JSON and CSV, and those zip files are uploaded to GitHub directly. So uh, now, as of last week, <laughs> this process is now traceable, uh, so you can see exactly what happened uh, when the data was, um, was created, so that um, gives more um, verifiability to the whole process. Uh, we are in the process right now of uh, uh, fomenting reuse of this data. Elections are on Sunday. Um, we have been giving uh, talks and sharing, um, sending emails and social media posts uh, promoting uh, the reuse of the data. Um, there is a group in uh, ITAM, which is a university here in Mexico, uh, that's studying data visualization and they are doing uh, analysis of switchovers from one party to another in the previous elections to this one. Um, they call that uh, chapulineo, like crickets. Chapulines are crickets and they jump from one party to another. Um, so this is probably going to be published uh, this week, like tomorrow or maybe day after tomorrow. Uh, and the map, we actually want to use this right, for um, data visualization of the results. Uh, each district is going to have a different color according to uh, votes. Um, we are still looking for the media partner for this because the media have access to the real-time election data on election night. Uh, so we are still finding a partner for that, but we want to use this map for that. Uh, this is the first uh, hexagonal cartogram of Mexico that's ever been used for, for this purpose. So, thank you. Thank you.